गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल सिट इन सुकासन हैंड्स रेस्टिंग ऑन द नीज इन ज्ञान मुद्रा और चिन्ह मुद्रा सिट एरेक्ट क्लोज ओवर आइज स्टार्ट प्रेयर ओ today we are going to see topic that is effects of obesity one has to face the following problems there is a possibility of getting diabetes in the long run obesity leads to hypertension reduction of the hdl cholesterol in the blood and increases of the harmful ldl cholesterol increase of triglycerides formation of plaque in the coronary arteries which leads to heart attack brain stroke due to high blood pressure constipation pains in the leg and knee joints which is called arthritis etc these problems we have to face if you have obesity precautions to be taken eating limitedly exercise and avoid fatty oil starchy foods lessen the chances of getting obese salt and sugar are to be taken very less stress should be kept under the control by keeping the mind cool this way we can avoid eating indiscriminately as stress leads to overeating yoga asanas and in meditation control the formation of bad cholesterol in the body mind can be kept under control by controlling the respiration the food habits to be followed while doing yoga the person practicing yoga should take only sattvic food already we know what is sattvic food it should contain fruits vegetables and leafy vegetables in good quantities one should be away from food which rajasic or tamasic in nature they should eat whole grain and salads while doing yoga they should avoid processed food processed snacks and fast foods these dietary principles are to be followed very strictly this has a prominent importance in the practice of yoga thank you let us move on to the next posture uttana padasan let us see the technique of this asana Lie flat on the back on a soft blanket keeping the legs stretched place both the hands by the side of the trunk palms touching the ground take a few deep breaths raise your both legs
and bring them down with exhalation and relax repeat raise your both legs and bring them down with exhalation and relax let us go for the next one salabhasan it is also called locust posture lie full length on the floor on the stomach with the chin touching the ground on soft blanket keep the hands by the side of the trunk such that the palms touch the ground under the legs hands raise your both legs 1 2 3 4 5 down slowly breathe on relax makarasan legs between 1 feet distance turn your palms foot opposite heels repeat under the legs hands raise your both legs 1 2 3 4 five down slowly breathe on relax makarasan legs between 1 feet distance turn your palms foot opposite heels samasthiti join your legs hands down slowly this position samasthiti bhujangasan chest beside the palms on the ground slowly raise your head and chest up to navel region down slowly breathe out slowly raise your head and chest up to navel region concentrate on eyebrow center observe your natural breath down slowly breathe out relax hands down slowly dhanurasan fold your right leg catch right ankle fold your left leg catch left ankle stretch your body raise up raise your legs stretch your hands raise your head and chest up one as possible as stretch up down breathe out repeat one round stretch your legs stretch your legs up raise your head and chest 1 2 3 4 5 relax release your legs hands down relax makarasan one of the relaxation posture makarasan here is a great information about surya namaskaras you have to do surya namaskaras every day and you should increase the number of times day by day suppose if you do six times on the first day second day you have to do seven or eight and third day eight or nine and so on up to 30 times you have to increase the number of surya namaskaras day by day it strengthens your body 
and also the fat which is inside can be burnt if you practice it regularly surya namaskaras can be done morning and even in the evening times also if you practice this in the morning and evening the weight can be reduced the most important point is whenever you do surya namaskaras you must be relaxed in the position of shavasana until you feel comfortable you should be in a position of shavasana if you relax in shavasana the weight which comes from stress will be reduced relax in shavasana you have to follow asanas which are in previous episodes also totally nearly it gets one hand of hour to complete all this if you follow this episode up to 40 minutes there is no use of this you have to follow regularly it totally one and a half hour nearly so that it enhances it body weight and it controls your weight and fat you start to lose your weight follow up to one and a half hour please stand up let us start the first one pranamasana it's also called prayer pose now stand erect keep your feet together breathe in lift both arms up from the sides and as you exhale bring your palms together in front of the chest in prayer position please stay like that for 10 seconds now second step is hasta uttasana it's also called raised arms pose now breathing in lift the arms up and back keeping the biceps close to the ears in this pose the effort is to stretch the whole body up from the heels to the tip of the fingers stay like that for 10 more seconds now the third step pada hastasana it's also called standing forward bend now breathing out bend forward from the waist keeping the spine erect as you exhale completely bring the hands down to the floor besides the feet now step 4 ashva sanchalanasana breathing in push your right leg back as far back as possible bring the right knee to the floor and look up now step 5 dandasana stick pose as you breathe in take the left leg back and bring the whole body in a straight line the step 6 ashtanga namaskara salute with eight parts or eight points gently bring your knees down to the floor and exhale take the hips back slightly slide forward rest your chest and chin on the floor raise your posterior a little bit the two hands two feet two knees chest and chin eight parts of the body should touch the floor now the seventh step bhujangasana it's also called cobra pose slide forward and raise the chest up into the cobra pose you may keep your elbows bent in this pose with the shoulders away from the ears look up at the ceiling now step 8 parvatasana mountain pose breathing out lift the hips and the tailbone up 
to bring the body into an inverted V pose. Stay like that for 10 more seconds. Now step 9. Ashwa Sanchalanasana. Equestrian pose. Breathing in, bring the right foot forward in between the two hands. The left knee goes down on the floor. Press the hips down and look up. Stay there for 10 more seconds. Now step 10. Pada Hastasana. Standing forward bend. Breathing out, bring the left foot forward. Keep the palms on the floor. You may bend the knees if necessary. Now the 11th step. Hasta Uttasana, raised arm pose. Breathing in, roll the spine up. Raise the hands up and bend backward a little bit, pushing the hips slightly outward. Pushing the hips slightly outward. Now step 12. Pranamasana. As you exhale, first straighten the body. Then bring the arms down. Relax in this position and observe the sensations in your body. Relax. Raise your hands. Hands down. Pranamasana. It's also called prayer pose. Now stand erect. Keep your feet together, breathe in, lift both arms up from the sides and as you exhale, bring your palms together in front of the chest in prayer position. Please stay like that for 10 seconds. Now, second step is Hasta Uttasana. It's also called raised arms pose. Now, breathing in, lift the arms up and back, keeping the biceps close to the ears. In this pose, the effort is to stretch the whole body up from the heels to the tip of the fingers. Stay like that for 10 more seconds. Now the third step, Pada Hastasana. It's also called standing forward bend. Now breathing out, bend forward from the waist, keeping the spine erect. As you exhale completely, bring the hands down to the floor besides the feet. Now step 4, Ashwa Sanchalanasana. Breathing in, push your right leg back as far back as possible. Bring the right knee to the floor and look up. Now step 5, Dandasana. Stick pose. As you breathe in, take the left leg back and bring the whole body in a straight line. Step 6. Astanga Namaskara. Salute with 8 parts or 8 points. Gently bring your knees down to the floor and exhale. Take the hips back slightly. Slide forward. Rest your chest and chin on the floor. Raise your posterior a little bit. The two hands, two feet, two knees, chest and chin, eight parts of the body should touch the floor. Now the seventh step, Bhujangasana. It's also called Cobra Pose. Slide forward and raise the chest up into the cobra pose. 
you may keep your elbows bent in this pose with the shoulders away from the ears look up at the ceiling now step 8 parvatasana mountain pose breathing out lift the hips and the tailbone up to bring the body into an inverted v pose stay like that for 10 more seconds now step 9 ashva sanchalanasana equestrian pose breathing in bring the right foot forward in between the two hands the left knee goes down on the floor press the hips down and look up stay there for 10 more seconds now step 10 pada hastasana standing forward bend breathing out bring the left foot forward keep the palms on the floor you may bend the knees if necessary now the 11th step hasta uttasana raised arm pose breathing in roll the spine up raise the hands up and bend backward a little bit pushing the hips slightly outward pushing the hips slightly outward now step 12 pranamasana as you exhale first straighten the body then bring the arms down relax in this position and observe the sensations in your body relax raise your hands hands down let us repeat all the steps one by one step 1 pranamasana step 2 hasta uttasana Step 3 Pada Hastasana Step 4 Ashva Sanchalanasana Step 5 Dandasana Step 6 Astanga Namaskara Step 7 Bhujangasana Step 8 Parvatasana Step 9 Ashva Sanchalanasana Step 10 Pada Hastasana Step 11 Hasta Uttasana Pranamasana Relax Raise your hands up Bring your hands down Now Let us repeat all the steps one more time Step 1 Pranamasana Step 2 Hasta Uttasana Step 3 Pada Hastasana Step 4 Ashva Sanchalanasana Step 5 Dandasana Step
ஸ்டெப் சிக்ஸ் அஷ்டாங்க நமஸ்காரம் ஸ்டெப் செவன் புஜங்காசனம் ஸ்டெப் எயிட் பர்வதாசனம் ஸ்டெப் நைன் அஸ்வசஞ்சலனாசனம் ஸ்டெப் டென் பாதஹஸ்தாசனம் ஸ்டெப் லெவன் ஹஸ்த உத்தாசனம் ஸ்டெப் டுவெல் பிரணாமாசனம் Now relax, raise your hands up, bring, slowly bring them down. Now slowly breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now let us repeat all the steps one by one. Step 1, Pranamasana. Step 2, Hasta Uttasana. Step 3, பாதஹஸ்தாசன ஸ்டெப் ஃபோர் அஸ்வசஞ்சலனாசனம் ஸ்டெப் ஃபைவ் தண்டாசனம் ஸ்டெப் சிக்ஸ் அஷ்டாங்க நமஸ்காரம் ஸ்டெப் செவன் புஜங்காசனம் ஸ்டெப் எயிட் பர்வதாசனம் ஸ்டெப் நைன் அஸ்வசஞ்சலனாசனம் ஸ்டெப் டென் பாதஹஸ்தாசனம் ஸ்டெப் லெவன் ஹஸ்த உத்தாசனம் ஸ்டெப் டுவெல் பிரணாமாசனம் Now relax, raise your hands up, bring them slowly, bring them down, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now Savasana. Now slowly lie down on your back. Leave some space between both the legs. Stretch your hands a little. Now slowly inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Now, Samasthiti. Bring your both legs together, hands together. Okay. 
slowly get up and sit. Kapalabhati is also known as skull shining breath. Kapala means skull and bhati means light. The emphasis is on the exhalation through strong, fast abdominal contractions and so has a cleansing effect on the breathing pathways. Now let us see the benefits of this Kapalabhati. It improves circulation especially to the brain which gives the skull shining effect energizing the mind and waking up your system. Kapalabhati also creates heat and increases and stimulates the digestive fire which is also called Agni by strengthening, massaging and toning the abdominal muscles and digestive system. Let us see the Kapalabhati technique. The inhale follows naturally after the strong exhale. Relax. Now slowly inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now let us repeat this Kapalabhati one more time. The inhale follows naturally after the strong exhale. Relax. Slowly inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Surya Bhedana Pranayama is the deep inhalation of breath through the right nostril, then holding the breath for as long as comfortable, and finally exhaling through the left nostril. Now sit in any comfortable position but sit erect. Form prana mudra with your right hand. When you close your right nostril, use your right thumb. When you close your left nostril, use your right finger, ring finger and little finger. Is the deep inhalation of breath through the right nostril, then holding the breath for as long as comfortable, and finally exhaling through the left nostril. Let us do it. Inhale through right nostril, hold it for some time, exhale it through left nostril. Now repeat this inhale through right nostril. Hold it for some time. Exhale through left nostril. Inhale. Exhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale, inhale, hold, exhale.
इनहेल होल्ड एक्सहेल इनहेल होल्ड एक्सहेल रिलैक्स Now let's start Nadi Sodhana Pranayama. Nadi means subtle energy channel. Sodhan means cleaning, purification, and Pranayama means breathing technique. Nadi Sodhana or alternate nostril breathing is the most important breathing technique to help keep the mind calm, happy, and peaceful. This technique balances two of the most significant nadis or energy channels now let us see the benefits of this nadi sodhana pranayama nadi sodhana also balances the two hemispheres of the brain it is an excellent relaxation technique calming the mind and generally bringing balance to the whole system it improves concentration and mental focus as it clears out blocked energy channels in the body now let's do the technique first form prana mudra you need to observe this very closely now close right nostril with right thumb and inhale with left nostril now close left nostril with right ring finger and little finger and exhale through right nostril now let's do the same in an opposite way now inhale through right nostril after that close right nostril with right thumb and exhale through left nostril let us repeat this process for five times inhale exhale 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 now relax inhale exhale now relax now slowly inhale and exhale with both the nostrils slowly inhale exhale start swasti prayer
Thank you.